So we're looking at a quick tip when using brushes, especially when you're looking to erase. Um, if we're using some kind of uh, funky brush, like we can see here, it's a dispersion brush. Um, and if we were kind of just painting onto a mask to actually reveal the parts below, we've got no problem as far as if we need to actually go in and erase. If we just press X to put white back on the top again, we can pretty much pick up the parts. However, it won't actually pick up, because this is a dispersion brush, it's kind of scattering as we go. So I'd usually go in and obviously use the likes of the erase tool. Uh, and that doesn't work really well. But um, if you are familiar with a, a kind of either a US key, a keyboard or U UK one. So the US to the top left hand side next to the one in other words is the tilde key. And in the UK, I believe it's called a back quote see here but if we press that whilst we are still in the brush mode um, it uh, then actually re removes it in the same texture okay so depends on how you're uh, uh, running it you can see now I'm erasing with the same texture of the brush that I had if I just um, switch that one off for a minute and give you an idea and I just paint onto the image itself let's make a new layer here let me just uh, put that color in that's okay. So um, you can see here, because of the dispersion brush, I'm, I'm clicking on it and it scatters as I go. Um, but if I use the erase tool, it usually defers to a brush. Now you usually have to go looking for the brush that you're using. And then of course you could go in and just actually remove the exact kind of elements that are in the way around by the face. But sometimes you want just a kind of an almost a broken shatter or something like, like that. So especially when we're looking at these where they're mixing together here, um, I'm better off actually um, uh, you are using the original brush to break this up so I don't have to do any work. So if I go back to the brush tool again, you can see I've got the shape here, but if I press that uh, button left of the number one on the keyboard, uh, it basically will now break the, it up using the same texture of the brushes that we've got at hand. So it doesn't actually erase like we're used to erasing. Um, and we can kind of break up the shapes and things really. So it's, it's a good way, especially if you've got such a jagged brush I have here. So remember what I'm doing is I can still paint, okay, by releasing that key, but then I can actually go in and um, a, kind of erase over the top by painting it out as it were. So that's a quick tip on using uh, the brushes. Uh, so remember that's that key just to the left hand side of the one.